Hey, sorry I'm late. <clears throat> Traffic and such. I'm not that guy who is late for dates. Cause I'm not. I got stuck behind this Quaalude looking PT Cruiser. That had family stickers on the back. Like, come on, that's like the worst. Cause sometimes they have like little angel wings by them and it's like, it's not gonna bring them back. You know, they're gone. I mean, I don't understand like those people. Like how can you be buying that shit? Like, like I'm not the kind of guy who likes his personal information being everywhere. You know, it's like, do people just forget that identity theft exists? Do they just, do they just forget that like criminals are a thing? Like, do they, do they, do they? The people that get on my nerves really gotta be people that really don't know how to follow laws, bro. Some people just don't know how to drive. They're just so irritating, like. I kid you not, there are worse drivers in Tennessee than any place that I have been. And my parents and I went to Cancun last summer. Let me tell you about this trip that I took to Cancun. It was so exciting, like. I kind of just got shit-faced every single day and like party with my parents. Uh, they didn't know that I was on Molly like half the time. I took about five of those, man. I was having the time of my life. I have never enjoyed myself so much. Yeah, I actually picked up like a lot of Spanish when I was in Cancun. I didn't think I was going to, but my mom's actually like 10% Puerto Rican, so I kind of like felt like I really needed to. You wanna see? Swear is fea. Donde el baño. Yo hablo espanol todos los días. Yo quieres enchilada. Me gusta pollo. That's all I have to say. I just I just flash some cash. Um, you flash some cash and they'll do anything for you down there. Like I learned like a lot of, I don't want to bore you with it, but I learned a lot more. If anything, you should, you should, you should want to talk to me more. I know two languages now. Like, oh, I just remember. Look at this sweet watch I got from Cancun. Can you see it? I know, right? Those diamonds. Ooh. Someone called your drop it at a tienda. You know. <clears throat> I mean, he had dementia, so he's not gonna come back looking for it or anything. Um, and it's Rolex too, so. <laughs> Very nice. Um, if I'm not swaggy every day, like, I mean, <laughs> look at this. I mean, if I'm not swaggy every day, then I'm not truly living, and I don't see the point in living if I'm not trying to drip out and showcase myself every day. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a showcase. I got, I got the wash, I, I got the talent. I, I don't know what else I can do to show that I'm a showcase. Well, it's pretty dope, right? You see that? I like it. You like it? Okay. So like the only reason I'm really wearing this is because I had a date, but like I'm totally gonna sell it at a pawn shop. Like that dementia ridden old fuck isn't really gonna miss it very much. So I'm gonna sell it. Like I didn't even really know much about pawn shops until I started watching Pawn Stars. I mean, if you look at the mise en scene that's, that's, that's in there, the things they set up, um, you, you can tell that the director and the writers of the show and, and the people that they had um, really put a lot of effort and passion into that show and that just shows how great it is. I've learned so much, like I've learned more from Pawn Stars than I did from high school, like straight up. I'm always watching Pawn Stars. You wanna know why? Because it has so much plot, so much character development. The items they bring in are actually worth millions of dollars and they just sell it to these people. They, they pawn it for cheap. And that's honestly how America works. Have you even seen Pawn Stars? Let me, let me show you what Pawn Stars look like. It's cool, right? Oh my God, I love this show. It's the best show ever. Yeah. Right? Oh, oh wait, this is the best part. This is the best part. <laughs> oh my God. I just can't get over like, I mean, you just, it's its nothing you expect. Every scene, you can break it down like it's a Tarantino movie. They always got the wildest type of characters in these shows. Oh. Bro, they trying to rip them off. <laughs> Jason. You know how dedicated I am to this show. Like. <laughs> I have a tattoo of Rick Moranis. And plus, uh, I've been in the gym a little bit. I know you see that. Like, I know you like that. You, you know, he did a pretty good job too, right? So I forgot to ask, like, how do you feel? Like, I've been over here just chatterboxing about myself and like, I'm just kind of noticing you're like way too cute to just be like sitting there and not talking. I feel like I ask a lot of girls 
on these dates, like how they feel. But I, uh, I don't really feel like they ever ask me how I feel. I mean, ever since. <sighs> wow, that felt great to get off my chest. You know, I feel like most girls just hear crypto and they just zone out. I don't know, but like you don't seem like that kind of girl. You're something special. You're like, you're like a bowl of Lucky Charms with extra marshmallows. And I just want to get a spoon and dig right into it and just gobble it up. Anyways, I got to go play Smash with some of my bros, my homeboys. You're paying, right? <laughs> Thank you. Don't forget to watch Pawn Stars. The Jetta? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Do you know your lights are on? Yes, now I do. Okay, that's I'll get it you just in a came bit. by and told us. Okay, I'll be sure to get that. I always forget that. You know what? I like you. It's just, I feel like me, you get me, you feel me? You something special. You like that bowl of Lucky Charms that's full of marshmallows. You know what? I'm that spoon, and you're my bowl, and I'm going to gobble you up. But if you're not in Ethereum, you need to get in Ethereum. Quick. They're always like, do you play Pong? Oh, do you know Post Malone? Have you ever listened to Post Malone? Have you like listened to Post Malone? I didn't think so. And it's like, shut up. Like, honestly, I don't get what you're talking about. And then they ask you like, did you rush? Did you rush? It's like, no, I didn't rush for many reasons. My number one being, I don't want to be anywhere around you. So fuck those guys. It's late to my, my, my job at Kroger, and uh, I got so many stories about Kroger. You want to hear some? <laughs> 